What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Malaysia. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Malaysia Devon, and I am back with another video. If you are new to my channel, don't forget that. What the? <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Malaysia Devon. I am back with another video. If you're not new to my channel, welcome back. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, comment, put that notification bell. What am I talking about? Now, I know I said in my last video that I was going to start making more videos, but y'all, your girl being busy. Small disclaimer before you go to your recruiter and be like, this girl on YouTube told me that I should do this. All right. This is all based off my four year experience of being in the Navy. Don't, don't base your navy experience and your career off of what the thing off the things that i've experienced i'm just here to tell you guys what i've experienced and what could possibly be a part of your career as well all right so if you want the tips if you want the tea stay tuned all right so first things first when you join the military here's the first thing you really 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 want to do know which branch you want to choose a lot of people just like to choose the first branch that comes to them or that they see, which is normally the Army or the Marine Corps, all right? The first one that I seen that I was very familiar with uh, was obviously the Army because, you know, that's the most popular. They have the most money. They've been around the longest. They have the most history when it comes down to the United States military. However, I decided to not join the Army just because they weren't offering the job that I really wanted to do. Um, so research 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 your branches that is the very most that's that's the most important thing that you can do is to research your branches um when i joined the navy i had no idea about the navy okay i didn't even know what color the uniforms were i just remember my recruiter coming to my job i worked at starbucks at the time i remember him coming to my job and i was like what kind of uniform is that because that's when they had the blueberries um and i was like i ain't never seen this uniform before this is kind of cool Unfortunately, when I first joined, they didn't have the blueberries anymore. They were actually issuing the new uniform, which is the Type Threes. But um, I'm really glad that I even took the time out to talk to him because I think I enjoyed the Navy way more than I would have enjoyed the Army. I'm gonna be straight up. Yeah. So why am I watching my clips back, right? And I just realized that my part. <laughs> oh my God. It's very much crooked and the people at my job are fake because y'all saw me all day and y'all didn't even tell me that my part was crooked. That's what I'll be talking about. So now you've chosen your branch, you know what you want to do with your career, you have your plan settled out. Now here's what really, really gets people when they join the military. First thing that I like to tell people, well second thing I like to tell people is be prepared to give up your freedom. Um, and it sounds pretty harsh, but it's the truth. A lot of people don't realize the sacrifices that people in the military make. Is there are times where we cannot take leave, we can't take vacations, we can't, you know, take Christmas or we can't do New Year's, you know, the most important thing. Sometimes we can't even celebrate birthdays. Um, and that's what a lot of people don't understand when it comes down to joining the military and that's the part that really really sucks like i've missed so many birthdays and christmases well i've probably missed like two christmases um i've missed a couple new years just because you know i had to do my military duty so be prepared to give up your freedom um i like to tell people i fight for freedom while giving up mine that's literally what i like to tell people so be prepared for that all right because that's a big one so another big thing that a lot of people don't necessarily pay attention to is finances uh, when you first join the military if you join as an e1 to an e3 you might as well be prepared to <laughs> live paycheck to paycheck when i first joined i was not a big saver i was focused on getting a car and getting an apartment and blase blase um luckily my first command offered us bah as e3s but now that i'm at my new command i do not get any of that so it is very hard for me to maintain my money um especially because i don't make a lot now it all depends on where you start how you start things of that nature if you have an education you can get paid a lot more you can automatically come into the military as an e3 or at least the navy i don't know about any other branch but i know for the navy for a fact um also 
if you come into the military and marry, if you come into the military and marry already or you already have children, then finances won't necessarily be a huge ordeal, but it can still be a barrier. Um, you have to be very, very smart with your money when it comes out to the military because I don't know where this myth came from about military being rich. Y'all just think we got all the money in the world. That is not true, okay? I live pay to, paycheck to paycheck. This is why I have another job because I don't get paid enough for this, okay? I don't get paid enough. So that's one of the one of the main things that you want to focus on is just your financial stability. You want to be able to provide for yourself and still be able to, to pay your bills, car note, all that good stuff, all right? Know that you will not be rich. Do not spend your money on necessary stuff, all right? That's tip number three, okay? All right, tip number four, okay? I know I say that all these tips are important, but this tip right here, the most important, especially because it is free, okay? It's absolutely free. Get your education. Get your education. Um, you, you are going to be worked, okay? When you join the military, they are going to work you hardcore, okay? They're going to work you to the bone. And that's just that, okay? They're going to dog walk you, all right? So, if they're using you, you might as well use them and get that education, all right? You can use your tuition assistance to get any education that you want to get. Um, I'm currently working on my nursing degree. Well, my associate is my ADN right now. And then once I get out, I'll be working on my BSN. But it is absolutely free, okay? A lot of people don't take advantage of that. And it's really, really sad because they're so focused on getting out. They hate the military. They hate this. They hate that. They're not focused on getting their education. Bump that. I'm getting my education, all right? That is, y'all. I cannot stress this enough. No student loans, no loans, period, all right? You have the access to an absolute free education. Get it, all right? Point blank, period. I'm not even going to exaggerate on that. Get your education. Another tip that I want to give you guys is to choose your job wisely, all right? A lot of people join the military, like I said, they just join the military, just join the military. They don't care what job they get. They just want to be a part of the military, and that's totally fine. However, if you're using the military as kind of like a stepping stone, or you're using it as kind of like a get-out situation, at least choose a job that you can do on the outside. I am currently a dental technician, or a dental assistant, whatever you want to call it, in the Navy. That is something that I can take and make a career out of in the civilian world. And that's what a lot of people fail to do. A lot of them get jobs like working in air, or... They do like engineering stuff and I'm not necessarily saying they can't take it on the outside. However, it is not one of the easiest things. A lot of people require educations for those things, which is why I said get your education, Miss Girl. Or guy, I don't know. But um that is another big thing that you want to do is to choose your rate wisely, alright? Don't just be picking jobs. Just be picking jobs and be like, oh I wanna get this job because it sounds cool. No. Get a job that you can carry to the outside in the civilian world just in case. Because like I said, you never know what can happen while you're in the military. That's just it. So a lot of y'all gonna hate me for this one and I I really don't care. But do not get married. Do not get married. Alright. Do not get married, especially at a young age. I have seen so many people my age, and I'm only 24, get divorces, and when I say they end bad, they end bad, alright? You do not want to be 25, fresh out of the divorce, you probably got a kid, whatever. Whatever your situation is, you do not want to do that, alright? Do not rush into getting married when you join the military. So many people make the mistake of, oh, I want to go get married because I get more money. I want to go get married because I get to live out in town. Do not do that nonsense, okay? You will be surprised how high the divorce rate in the military is, and a lot of people don't know this. I, like I said, I've seen 18, 19, 20 year olds fresh out of divorces. Now they want to act up because they thought they was going to get all the money in the world. Now they back in the barracks. Now they back paycheck to paycheck. Do not do it. It's definitely not worth it. Now, a lot of y'all be like, oh, I'm going to marry my high school sweetheart when I get out. Do your thing, okay? Me, however, Miss Malaysia is not getting married anytime soon. I'll probably get married around like 27, 28, if that. Um, but yeah, do not get married, all right? Do not. Don't. So, another tip that I want to give you guys is to choose your friends wisely as well. When you join the military, you are going to make so many lifelong friends. 
I've met so many people that I can call family now. I have brothers and sisters that I wouldn't replace for the world, okay? But I've also seen people choose friends. They get mixed into the wrong crowd. They get mixed into the wrong ideas. And they ruin their career before their careers even start, all right? Like I said, you're going to have people from all walks of life joining the military. People from all across the world. People from different states. People from different countries. You're going to have so many people around you. You don't know where these people come from. You don't know how serious they take the military. You don't know how serious they take their careers. You do not want to get mixed up with anything that can be negative, okay? So choose your friends wisely, all right? Choose your friends wisely. That's just that. I know it's like high school and your mom used to be like, you need to stop hanging out with that crowd and blah, 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 blah. Your mama not lying, all right? Be careful who you hang out with because they can either make or break your career. All right, so... I know I kind of scared some of y'all, but I do want to end it on this note, okay? When you join the military, have fun, okay? Have fun. There are going to be times in the military where you're going to make so many core memories, all right? You're going to be traveling. You're going to be meeting new people. You're going to be trying different foods. You're going to be just doing things and experiencing things that you probably never thought you would experience enjoy it okay because once you're out of the military or you know once you separate from your friends there are things that you'll probably never get to experience again okay all right y'all so that's pretty much all the tips that i can really think of if you want more military videos if you have any questions or comments feel free to ask them in the comment section and i'll be more than happy to answer those questions again i didn't go into too much detail because i don't want to scare you guys away like i said this is just based off what i've seen and what I've experienced in my four years and I don't want any of you guys to stray you know to the wrong side of the military I don't want you to think that everything in the military is negative and again if you're new to my channel just make sure you like subscribe hit that notification bell for more videos and if you're not new thank you for watching I'll see you guys in the next video